Um, I remember um, way back in 2013 when I first started working um, with PIND and you know came into work one morning and um, of course um, the youth of the community had shut our gate. Um, this did not just happen only in Wari, it also happened you know in Portacourt as well so I would join the two stories together and um, um, what did we do? I mean or what did I do at that particular time? Um, as an organization of course you know an NGO you know our key is to ensure that we're communicating properly with um, you know the communities that we're actually working. So um, it was a lot of engagement with the youth and of course with the elders you know you can't just work with the youth without the elders. The elders have to actually have a proper say you know in everything that you do but first of all the youth will come forward and you know being brash and wanting to be um, sometimes unnecessarily aggressive but you know good communication will calm them down. So I engaged with them, you know, came down to their level, you know, spoke the language that they understood, didn't use any particular um, big words, you know, spoke Pidgin English when it was needed, spoke Ishakiri when it was needed, you know, went to River State and spoke a little bit of the dialect there when it was needed, uh, needed just to engage with them, you know, properly. And, um, and, and that was, um, it made it really quite um, 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 interesting and possible to actually allow them to see the impact that we're actually making in the community. So we're not really, we're adding value really. We're adding value to your community. We're not taking anything away from you. We're adding, we're bringing, you know, um, economic developments and, you know, peaceful livelihood. We're, you know, um, creating a lot of enabling environment. You, the community is creating a lot of enabling environment for us. We're creating that, you know, you know. So it was a lot of that kind of uh, engagement and allowing them to see the value we're actually adding to the community that was actually key. PIN's success is largely due to the acceptance um, of our models by key stakeholders in the region. So getting them on board was hard in many instances, you know, but it was worth the effort to be accepted and see that our models were working in the region. Come on now, people. We're inviting you to the 10th anniversary celebration of making a difference in the Niger Delta. And share this information with um, your friends, family, and everyone in your circle. Let us celebrate PIN's 10 years of making a difference in the Niger Delta. Mm -hmm.